inflation rate goal. As the job market rebounds this summer, the need for workers is intensifying. Economists say worker shortages will likely continue for years after the fast reopening re economy recovers. Elise Haas is live to walk us through why this is happening in America. Elise? Jenny and Ken reports say that the restaurant industry was the hardest hit in this worker shortage category and that does align anecdotally at least with what my reports were saying last week after I interviewed a handful of restaurant owners in the Portland metro and Vancouver area even. Um, so what that does tell me is that maybe there could be some friction in this area for the foreseeable future at least in that sector. But if we're looking at the big picture here and the United States as a whole here are a few key things that economists are really pointing to for why there could be some need for workers at this point. The estimates from the Census Bureau show that the number of working age people in the United States shrank last year for the first time in American history. And though it only fell by a tenth of, per, of a percent, it's still noteworthy because it's always been a number that's increased. And economists say that this dip, due, this dip is due to a sharp fall in immigration, a spike in baby boomers retiring and some people retiring early, a slowing birth rate and deaths due to COVID-19. Possible problems, a continuing drop in the working population or even just a slight increase could be hard on the U.S. economy and on businesses. Healthy economic expansion typically depends on robust population growth. Still, some economists see a silver lining for individuals, at least. According to the June job report, economists point to a trend of higher wages, better opportunity, and perks like signing bonuses to attract and retain workers who are in high demand right now. Economists explain that in order to continue seeing some economic expansion, it will all hinge upon whether or not they can make their employees more productive. So that may make take things like investing in labor-saving technologies and things of that sort moving forward. Ken and Jenny. Thank you very much, Elise. Happening today, it's back to